Meanwhile, New Mexico State, they have a double bye as the uh, number one seed in the WAC tournament. The Aggies, they're going to play Grand Canyon in the semifinals of the WAC tournament. Now, last week, head coach Chris Jans gave KTSM 9's Colin Deaver an all-access pass to the program, and I do mean all-access. Hey, good morning, Colin. Hey, thanks oh, for having me. No problem. Coach's wife, Sherry. Hey. <laughs> All right. Come on in this way. This is Sophie and this is Macy. Come on, babies. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on in. And if they bug you too much, just tell me, please. Oh, there's the man of the hour. <laughs> I'm more of a late night guy than an early morning guy, so uh, I probably sleep in a little bit later than the average uh, Joe, if you will, and nothing really changes on game day other than probably a little more bounce in your step um, than, than most days, because obviously what's at the end of the day, and a little more anxious maybe than um, you would be on, on most days, but uh, it's pretty much uh, a similar routine almost every day. Sophie, they like her way more than they like me, which if you'd ask most humans, that'd be the same answer. I mean, I like her a lot more than I like me too, so I get it. Try to get a workout in and then relax 15, 20 minutes and then uh, get in the shower and, and off we go. So is the drive to work sacred for you at all or is it just, it's just a drive to work? I guess it's been five years now. It's been your favorite part of living in Las Cruces. People have been so welcoming to, to Sherry and I. You know, the food, if, if you like Mexican food, it's unbelievable. And you know, in the past, you know, my idea of Mexican food was going to Taco Bell, <laughs> um, you know, or a Mexican restaurant in you know a Midwest town or what have you. But now, as the locals told me, here my my stomach will adjust. You know, it'll harden up because when I first got here, it was pretty rough. I'll tie up some loose ends when, when we get in there the lay of the land and you know our trainers seen some guys that have had some nicks and cuts and get an update from him and see where we're at and then um you know start zeroing in on preparing for shoot around and um, away we go right all over it scratch stuff you, you know just put a line through stuff you don't think or add or whatever and the, these are kind of the categories we do a great job here of everybody kind of pitching in so this is technically my scout um, so we're all just, you know, brain, you know, putting it all in one pot, brain power. And if there's another way to do it, what we have in, I'm all for it. If I promote it and shoot around today, they can get a layup in my... Let's go! Down here! Ice, ice, ice! Cut! Ice, ice, ice. Cut! Get in the scoring area. Good, Nate. You gotta cut! Last game we dribbled down in quicks, guys are in the corner, and they're cut, we're just throwing over the top of them. Alright, you can't cut enough. Okay, 45, you can't cut enough. Okay. Video, let's go. Okay, freeze. Okay, he's splitting them. Don't worry about it. He's splitting them. He's making damn sure there's no roll. All right, stay home with the four on the weak side, and we dig off the passer as long as it's not 10 or 25. We did a pretty good job there. All right, we're better now than we were then. Get your minds right in the next few hours all right, of, of, of what we're about to face. It's a big one tonight in the WAC. Adam Young, Joe Garza back with you from the Pan American Center at Tenham State and Stephen at Boston. The Yankees currently with a half game lead in the WAC standings. We need to be relentless in our pursuit of checkouts. Relentless in our pursuit of the ball. All right? Get grimy with it. Okay? Because it's going to be about that. All right, let's go. 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 Teddy is back in, a lob for Mike Peek, the helper from McKinney. Aggies ahead by a pair. Hathorys gets it back, his first three-point try of the game, and he sends the Jackson front by one. Hall lays it in. Day-Day Hall scores right around Will McNair. Cotton misses the free throw. Hall grabs the rebound, and SFA escapes with a win. And now the Aggies will need a win Saturday to clinch at least a share of the title. And for the fourth time in the Chris Jans era, and the sixth time in the previous eight seasons, the Aggies are WAC regular season champions. You know, we had to do it the hard way. Could have got it done a little bit earlier, but at the end of the day, next week, we won't be thinking about that. We'll be thinking about trying to get to the NCAA tournament. Colin, thank you. And the matchup, as I mentioned, set for tomorrow night. New Mexico State will play Grand Canyon in the semifinals of the WAC tournament. Aggies beat the Lopes twice in the regular season.